Welcome to how to beat coconut crab in bee swarm simulator with low level bees while being AFK. I've been using this trick since I first got a vicious bee and all my bees were level 8. Uh, I will say I strongly recommend getting your vicious bee to at least level 10 however because this will speed up the process by a lot. Next make sure you do not have bear bee in your hive when doing this trick. I'll explain more on that later. So first come over to the ledge that oversees the coconut field to the left of the memory match station. You want to be as far to the left without falling off. I recommend trying this without any haste tokens because it can be really frustrating with speed to make the minor adjustments you need to. The goal here is to barely touch the trigger that pulls coconut crab out. This will keep you immune from his claws the entire time and allows you to stand in one place the whole time with your bees conveniently bringing you all the tokens right to where you're standing. My setup is to stand on the ledge so that the only thing holding me up is the right half of my right foot. If you need to make minor adjustments, running against the wall will push you very slightly into position. Once you're in position, the crab might come out. If so, great. If not, no worries. Just shift lock, back up from the wall just a step, and turn slowly so that your back is to the cave. If you're far enough to the left, this should draw the crab. If he doesn't come out, or he jumps around like this in the cave, that means you're not far enough left, so you should reset your position against the wall on the ledge and try again. Once you're in position, everything seems to be great until he starts dropping coconuts. To avoid dying, you have to jump at the right time as the coconut's falling, and it won't hurt you. You have about a period of a second in which you can jump and not get hurt by the coconut. To get the right timing, watch the crab's jumps when he starts the coconut cycle. You want to jump in between his second and third jumps. You can either keep track of the rhythm, like 1 and 2 and 3, where you're jumping on the end of two, or you can jump when he finishes that little wobble after the second jump. With a level 10 vicious bee and level 8 or 9 bees, it should take around 12 to 15 minutes to kill the coconut crab. If you want to make this fully AFK, I would recommend downloading an auto keyboard presser like it's on screen now and in the description. You want to activate it between the second and third jumps and set it to press spacebar every 23 seconds, which is how long it takes in between cycles. And just a note, if you have bear bee in your hive, its tokens will cause you to jump higher, which will send the coconut crab back into the cave, removing all of your progress. So it's just best, if you're going to do this, to take bear bee out of your hive. So overall, everything you need to do this trick is access to the coconut field, to take bear bee out of your hive, and have a vicious bee that's at least level 10 if possible, but you should be able to do it with an 8 or 9 vicious bee too. Also, very occasionally, there will be another coconut on top of the first coconut that you always have to dodge that will fall uncomfortably close to you. Most of the time when this happens, it will miss you, but in all the time I've been using this trick, there has only been one or two times that it has spawned close enough to deal damage that I was unprepared for. It's rare enough that if it happens, you'll be able to survive it and recover enough health to continue. That's just something to be aware of, though. If you're having trouble with any of these steps, keep trying. It can take a little bit of practice, but it's well worth it. 